Gisigwan, a calendar that reminds our human body's interrelational interconnectedness and responsibilities to the land, to the cosmos, and Kakiao Nwagamaganak. Gisigwan guides we out to the rhythms of Nukum Tipskau Pisim and Pisim, both working in unison, calling the seasons Siguan, Minuskamin, Nipin, Dagwagin, Migiskau, Minapipun. We begin our new year when the leaf buds their new green bellies, Sagi Pagawi Pisim. The new growth replenishes our foods, medicines, our waters, the air, our incredible biodiversity. If you listen, you will hear the pelated woodpecker tapping to mark their territory, or perhaps drumming to serenade a mate, but most likely they are quenching their thirst with the delicious, nutritious birch water. A northern flicker also gets thirsty. The young warriors knows it's time to tap, finding chaga on an old wasque. Those cold and warm snaps create some powerful medicine. It is time to prepare for a new year, to feast, to fast, to give our offerings and gratitude. Nateimna bisim. Ewiyo gomian. I have my grandmother. There was a time when our wombs were honored and so greatly respected, like the colorful flowers that bring our nourishing berries. We walked in beauty, not shame for the powerful medicines of our wombs. When Nukum Tipskau Pisim visits, we need to return to our mood lodges, sit with one another to share and receive the beauty, wisdom, stories, teachings, and love of our grandmothers. We release our life-giving blood returning to bless the, and nurture the earth, the waters, the medicines, as they so lovingly continue to provide for Kakiao Nwagamaganak. Baskoi Pisim, our winged relatives, old feathers molts, a new coat grows, signifying a warmer change in the weather. The heat of Pisim welcomes Mantosak, as they feast on freshly picked berries. Many of the medicinal plants are ready to be picked with grandmothers, aunts, sisters, lovers, and all those little relatives. They bring protocols, pails, muskamot, and root digging tools as the piesik sak sing while they groom themselves. Opaoi pisim. In the light, Blue break of dawn, you will see our flying relatives start their annual southern journey, the same route their ancestors did when our Aneskotsapanak prayed for the future of those not born yet, us. In 1876, the grandmothers guided our Ogamawak as they signed Treaty 6. The treaty meant metal symbolize good relations through the shaking hands of two sovereign nations, a buried hatchet. Since then, the corset of patriarchy squeezed the kind, compassionate matriarchs out of traditional leadership and governance systems, moving many from their communities through enfranchisement, placing the rest in cheap fabricated homes with undrinkable water stealing our children, polluting Nagawi Eski, Kaseyota Nipi Manuto, M-M-S-E-I-P. Almost 150 years later, our matriarchs are rising, reclaiming their rightful place as the home fires, the mothers, the grandmothers, the aunts, the educators, healers, peacemakers, warriors, negotiators, economic holders, heart-led leaders. We place our mogaman in front of the leaders. Now we speak truth. No tziyoto we pisem. Nukum tipskau pisem brings the cool air, changing the hues of our plant nation, the colors of fire and heat. Nagawi Eski and all our children prepare for a long winter. It is time to slow down after our short, warm season of gathering, harvesting, dancing, and celebrating. Some of our most courageous and hardworking warriors role model self-love, 
telling us, be a thick and enjoy the pleasures of our earthly life. When the weather cools, our bodies crave heat. And when one needs a resurgent, wawas kesu bring medicine of stamina. Binaskoi Bison. The Canadian state herded our ancestors onto little parcels of land we now call First Nations. We forget that we come from this land, mystic. This land claims us as Nehiowak. We have a right to be who we are on our lands, to reclaim and activate the soil, the seeds, the moss, the root systems of our ancestral gathering spaces. As we return to pick Nukumwak tools, awaken our blood memory through the traditional work of the land we reawaken, Atsak Iskoto. Negawi Aski needs us as much as we need her. We are still here. Aisiniwak Ota Aski. Kaskinawi Pisam. The summer brought an abundance of seeds and food for Kwikwiso, so they stuck around for Pipun. Winter should be good. Kona blankets Negawi Aski. Our medicines go to sleep as with many of our four-legged relatives. We light our fires, drink our medicines, bundle up and begin to remember our stories, our sacred ones, the ones of those who left this earthly life. We share the everyday stories, the scary stories, and the stories written on our skins. We reconnect to the spirit of Nehiawewin, a how. On clear, cold days, the moisture turns to solid, feathering all surfaces on the northern plains. Before the sun begins to rise or set, it is a good time to follow Muswak tracks. One could feed many families, provide tools, clothing, and shelter. We celebrate their life, reminding us of the law of sharing and the joy of family. The cold Kiseyotin teaches us humility. There is a restoration of our natural laws, truth sharing, kindness, and courage. When you follow those kind, loving, hunting protocols, when you share food, you give life. Even the prairie chickens participate in dancing and gratitude. Our grandmothers remind us Esquewak, including our Tastawinuak, to gather to share gifts of food, songs, prayers, wisdom, and laughter. Those circles are so vital to help us grieve, process, move together through the challenges of unresolved trauma, addictions, grief, and loss to the weight of ongoing colonization on our families and communities. So that when we may release, we find our courage to move forward in a beautiful way together. When the nights are longer, may our matrix gather to express freely, freely without interference as they rebalance harmony in their bodies, lands, and relations. Gesei Bisem. Some of the most powerful memories to help move through the challenging times are Kukum teachings. Smell is such a sensational provoker that awakens memories. The scent of wika, smoke, hide, wild meats always bring lightness to my heart. Nakum's favorite protocol was a tin of Copenhagen, so I always made sure to bring some with red rose muskegi. Nakum's kitchen table always had food and tea to nourish the body, even for strangers who could walk in any time through an unlocked door. Like the loving charge of Nukum Tepskaupisem on dried medicines hanging in the window, Nukum's medicinal words and laughter will always ground and stoke Atsak Iskotel. Miksuipisem. During one of the coldest months, the Miksu return to perform their extreme mating rituals. The males fly acrobatics to impress the females. If she chooses, she will lock her talons with him in an aerial sky spiral dance towards the ground. If he proves his courage, strength, and dedication to her, they will bail their nest together until she calls and bows to let him know she is ready to mate. 
Confronting and transcending intergenerational trauma is vital to reclaiming our body sovereignty and sexual autonomy. Nukum would always say Esquewa carries the most powerful medicine. The love we carry for our medicine, mind, body, and spirit informs how we receive and share love. So love yourself. Be patient and wait to lock your talents with one who shares their truth, courage, kindness, and generosity. Niski pisim. Nukum tapskau pisim visits are shorter, lengthening the warmth of pisim to kisik minad nipi. Niska make their long journey back to the northern lakes. The four-legged relatives become more active. Our sky, water, and four-legged relatives are letting us know the changes in the climate and environment. Like Watsask, they let us know that there is going to be a heavy snowfall when they made their lodges close to the lake edges. The perch provides the body with omegas, minerals, and vitamins after a long winter. And our little helpers at Timwak, full of energy and movement, reminds us to enjoy the land with our families. Aiki Bisim. As the water melts and begins to flow, Aiki's song calls to awaken the rest of Kakiao and Wagamaganuk. At dusk and dawn, the Amiskwak are most active, as each family relative helps to keep the home and family safe. These beautiful water relatives remind us water is life. Many animals, including Esquewa, carry the sacred water that breaks to make way for the birth of new life. Our mothers are our first homes. Within their powerful bodies, we each grew. Sometimes we and even our mothers forget how important and valuable they are in growing humans, not just people, but real humans, beings that are kind, loving, brilliant, courageous, and humbly connected. The moon, waters, lands, our air, and kakiao nawagamaganak that our niskotapanak lived with have shifted. We live in a time of great change within our cosmos to our body's solar systems. Yet the teachings of our Kisigwan continue to guide Weao to the rhythms of Nukum Tepskau Pisim, our grandmother Moon, and Pisim, both working in unison to support our life. Nukum Tepskau Pisim's love is so powerful that with each visit, every living being is charged by her illuminating kisses. When you connect with her, she will teach you how to love, be in beauty, and present your best self. Wawiyasu. Hi, hi.